I'm on a mission to make Destiny's Forgotten Exotics usable, and today I'm using the Radiant Dance Machines. Dance Machines give you an infinite dodge buff when you dodge near an enemy, which then gets extended for each takedown while you have the buff active. It sounds complicated, but basically dodge and get takedowns for infinite dodges. The things that actually work with the Dance Machines can be kind of confusing, but long story short, it doesn't work with things that alter your dodge, like the clone or suspend slam. So I'm mainly just going to be focusing on Gambler's Dodge and refreshing my melee ability. It's that time again, let's see what kind of fit we can throw together. Dance Machines stay green on the holographic part, so my palette is kind of limited to being green. This looks good enough to me. I headed to Neomuna to give some different combinations a try. Since your power is capped at Neomuna, it's a decent and easy way to get an idea for what might work in harder content. I tried throwing knives, I tried smoke bomb slams, I tried stasis shurikens, but the two that I found the most effective was the slide melee on arc and the throwing needle on strand. Out of the two, the throwing needle definitely felt the best. It does decent damage, severs for lowered enemy damage output, and because it severs, it makes a tangle very easily. The arc slide melee or uppercut melee is good, don't get me wrong, but it just kind of lacks the damage that I want and it leaves me in the air for a second so I have to wait to land before rolling again. It's not the biggest deal, but it's a minor annoyance that added up and ended with me switching off of it. Now that I've narrowed it down to Strand, I jump into a couple of heroic nightfalls to give it a go. happened to be Heist Battleground on the Moon, which is a pretty action-packed nightfall, so it gave me a chance to really test out what the dance machines were capable of. A couple of things I noticed, the first being that sometimes I would throw a needle, dodge, then go to throw another needle, but then the first one would come back to me and I'd end up catching that one instead of throwing another one. The second issue I was having was just staying alive. The dance machines require you to be around enemies to kick it off, and then the melee dodge also requires you to be around enemies. I actually ended up back at the drawing board after this, looking for something that I was missing. Then I looked at Void again. Dodging for invisibility works with the dance machines, but the kit was lacking the damage for me, so I dropped it pretty early. But what if I was thinking about this wrong? See, what I was looking for was a melee to deal damage, but maybe I needed some utility instead. Smoke Bomb weakens and disorients, so maybe pairing a nice weapon with that could be good. I switched back over to the dive smoke bomb and went back into the nightfall. We had unstoppable and barrier champs, so I still had my midnight coup and a deaded kindness instead of a void weapon which I thought would be preferable. Either way, they were still some pretty solid weapons, and while they didn't have any synergy with my subclass, they could still tell me if this build was worth pursuing. After the first set of enemies, I knew this was it. The weakening was making my weapons deal a ton of damage, and between the invisibility and disorient, I felt untouchable. My abilities weren't getting any takedowns, but that didn't even matter. This build was such a fun mix of both weapon and ability usage, and this really fulfilled this exotic's fantasy. I mean, I was literally dancing around the enemies. So, in conclusion, I couldn't get the dance machines to do what I originally wanted them to do, that being a melee damage build, but in my exploration of this exotic, I found a really fun and effective weakening and invisibility build. Grandmaster ready? Not likely. Being this close to the action, regardless of invisibility, has its risks, and in Grandmasters, I don't think the benefits would outweigh those risks. But for other content, I love it. I enjoyed it so much that I won't be overriding this loadout anytime soon. It's a really aggressive Void Hunter build, which is usually a pretty passive kit. But hey, Void isn't the only thing you can do with the Dance Machines. So let me know what you've tried with the Dance Machines down below in the comments, and until next time.